Hi, this is a quick three minute video on this. Hi, in this video we're going to be looking at a popular question for the higher tier maths paper. This is applicable to Edexcel, AQA, OCR and Educas. In the previous video we completed through to question number three. In this video we're going to look at question number four. Okay, so this is question number four on the paper. Please do download the paper from 3 Minute Maths. And it says uh, line A passes through the points 4, 3 and 8, 6. So what do we know about that? Well, it allows us then to work out the gradient of line A. Okay, so I'm not really even going to worry too much about the rest of the question at this point. What I'm interested in is working out the gradient, which is going to be Y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 and because we've been given two coordinates I've got x1 y1 and x2 y2 so therefore I can put these directly into my formula itself I'm going to get 6 minus 3 divided by 8 minus 4 and that's going to give me a gradient then for line A of 3 quarters. Okay, then it says find the equation of the line perpendicular to line A that passes through the point 6, 12. Okay, well the perpendicular line is going to be the negative reciprocal of the gradient. So let's just have a look at that. So the perpendicular line, okay, is going to have a gradient of minus 4 over 3. It's the negative reciprocal of line A and that's going to be then x plus c. And then really all we're going to do is take the values of y and x that we've got been given for the new perpendicular line, put them straight in and that will give us then the value of c. So I've got y is going to be 12 equals minus 4 over 3 multiplied by 6 which is the value of x plus c. Okay, so I've got 12 equals minus 8 plus c, so therefore c must equal 20, and therefore the equation of the perpendicular line, if I just put perpendicular line, I'm sorry about my writing, is going to be y equals minus 4 over 3x plus 20, and that would be the answer to question number 4. Okay, so I hope the video was useful. Please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. I'll always come back to you. Subscribe to the channel. I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.